Hey, Adina here. I've been in the hair and beauty industry since 2003 and um, maybe a surprise to some people to know that I actually used to import flowers uh, for my brand that I created called Pink. And I turned my life and my pro everything professional-wise around when I just stumbled into this curly world um, a, a couple of years uh, later. Anyways, I've been a, a curl expert, I guess texture specialist for over a decade. I'm Lee Dye Curly still and Diva Trained. Um, I wrote a book called The ABCs, How to Always Be Curly and Love It. And what I'd like to share with you today is one of the products that I have in the studio that I um, designed in 2017. So I'm going to show you how to use that and give you a couple of little tips um, as well um, from some of the things that are written in here. That's my book. English and Spanish translation. Um, the ebook is in uh, English and Spanish, and her cover is in English only for right now. Um, anyway, so so my pink pet here is my baby. The company was named Pink after my daughter, by the way, because I had a baby in 2003, and the company was born. Um, but anyways, right now I have a Curly Girl Studio, which is in Toronto, just on the border of Toronto, and uh, happy to say that we've got. You know, we were we hit pretty high up. I think at the very beginning, I was uh, the top ten salon in Toronto, and uh, hit the top one hundreds a couple of times too in my area. So that was right at the beginning. And if you think you know everything, just know, just keep your curly eye and mind open because we all learn from each other, and I'm learning every day. Anyways, back to the pink pick. So the pink pick, um, it's an amazing styling assistant. So what I really like about it is the versatility. It's really good for when you're in the shower, if you have, especially if you have longer hair and the shower stream is just like running down your back or rinsing your conditioner. The most important thing is to keep that conditioner in your hair while it's processing. Just clip your hair up with a pink pick. Just gonna get one of those the packaging. Hold it in place. If you think that you're going to um, have still more water hitting here, then just get a plastic cap and put it on if that's an issue and then just keep it up out of the way. It makes a really good styling assistant in that when you're trying to put on your sprayers, spray stylers, spray with curl refreshers, you can actually hold your hair out to get it evenly through the strand. If you're doing a wet to dry style, and say you're using a spray gel, it's also amazing for that as well. It can evenly go down the hair with the spot spring and just and put the product where it's supposed to be. And when it comes to root lifting clips, the dreaded clipping method. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. I have so many clients that are really, really good at it, and I have some that just, just can't get it. So don't worry. You know, we all have things we're good at. For instance, you could be a lawyer, and you're really good at being a lawyer, which is great, but I'm not a lawyer, but I'm really good at clipping. So they call me a cliptomaniac because I just go hog wild with my clips. But when I have clients that just can't get the clips, then I suggest using the pink pick. The pink pick's amazing for that. So when you're doing your wet to dry style, you just Insert it at the root across the part line, lift the hair up about one inch, put in uh, your diffuser about, you know, say four inches or so above, medium heat, medium airflow, and just dry that one section for about 15 seconds, cool shot, move forward to the next section, and keep working across the front. If you want to lift at the side, you can also do the same thing by diffusing at the side when you hold held your hair. It's great because it's going to keep your hands out of your hair. Stylist, if you're looking to do curly cuts and you want to find a way for your sectioning when you're doing your curly cuts, it's very simple, just use your fingers to section the hair. Don't twist the hair at all and just clip it up with the pink pick to keep the hair in that section. And you've got your section. If you do wet cuts, it's also good for that as well. Looking for an alternative to the clips when you travel? Right, this is actually, these clips are a little bit over what the limit is. So if you have these in your bags, they're going to take them away from you if you get the wrong guy. Okay, I don't know, but they might just take these away. So what's going to be a great combo for you is the pink pick for your lift and then get yourself the hot sock. Hot sock's been around for decades. It's amazing. Even on those teeny weeny little itsy bitsy dryers in the in the hotels, this one happens to have a diffuser. But even though I have the diffuser on this, I would still opt to go in with my hot sock, right? Feels like a little bit of a spongy insulation type of thing. Anyways, it buffers the heat and the airflow. It's amazing for using the hotel dryers. So it's gonna you know, protect the hair, not blow it around as much. It does buffer it really, really well. And it travels well. I've lost many at the gym. It's so easy to leave this thing. So just tie something around your wrist with a string and just make sure you don't leave it there. But this is really, really good. So between that, and then you have your pink, your pink pick, 
is fantastic for having having your little you know combo to do your lifting or whatever and also I forgot I mean naturally the pink pick is also really really good to distribute product through your hair or when you're detangling so that's a gimme so your comb can't do all that so that's why I love the pink pick you can find the pink pick at the curl shop on curlywheels.ca also um, east and west coast and various um, uh, stores will have it in their grab and go section so you'll have um, you know have, have some accessibility there anyways thank you for tuning in and I hope to see you soon